Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at Book of Bond Maids. This dark fantasy visual novel is available for PC, Mac, and SteamOS on Steam. So while this is technically a visual novel, Book of Bond Maids feels more like a playable graphic novel. The striking hand-drawn art and highly involved story of betrayal and intrigue really separate this game from the sea of derivative Daz and Tunny Select visual novels. This is something very different. This story falls solidly in the fantasy political thriller category somewhere between Game of Thrones and The Goblin Emperor. While sex and violence are an integral part of this genre, if you're looking for a hold down the control button and skip to all the sexual interactions experience, you're probably going to hate this game. Graphically, the art is fantastic, but there are pieces that appear unfinished. While there are some animated effects with things like fire and lighting, the sexual interactions are not animated and are silent. The music is decent but limited and seems to sometimes start and stop independently from the story and gameplay. Flavor-wise, this is one of the most sexually diverse games I've ever played from a Russian developer. Most of the flavors are optional and include heterosexual in both male and female homosexual content as well as BDSM, corruption, monsters, violence, and power exchange. Like seriously, this would be like a developer out of Beijing releasing a Tiananmen Square democracy simulator. I'm not shaming, I'm just really pleasantly surprised. So I'm not sure why this game is not classified as early access. I mentioned how not all of the art scenes finished, and I have been told that there is additional content coming. I mean, the title is Book of Bond Maids, but right now there's only one Bond Maid to acquire. You are able to play the game to completion, and there are currently four endings based on your choices and worldview score. I really enjoyed Book of Bond Maids. The story and art are a step above almost everything else currently in the industry. Yes, there are some polish, content, and mechanical issues that are keeping this game from being fantastic, but even if nothing was fixed, added, or changed, this is still a great game. So if you're looking to explore a dark world run by uncaring sociopathic oligarchs that totally have nothing to do with real life politics, I highly recommend picking up Book of Bondmates. Let me know what you think of the game. Did the politics enhance or detract from your overall experience? And why do you think that Russian games tend to be so sexually homogenous? Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's supporters on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you.